Okay, no. So, so something uh, I brought a different situation here. Police and shrinks are inextensible. Police and shrinks are massless. Police a massless and inextensible. Police massless. That one. And the string is inextensible and massless. So almost everywhere this assumption you are supposed to make it. Uh, this is similar to curtain. No? You might have seen curtain in your home. Uh, that ring will slide on the rod. No? And what is this M2? The fourth with which you are going to pull it. So today just after class now you can just see once the curtain. Just we are discussing the application of curtain here in the form of ring and the pulley. Nothing big. Uh, what action the, the moment I release system from rest, what are the forces acting the weight M2G? The tension T. And here the normal contact. Weight. MNG. Show all the forces. So tell me in what direction the block it will move downward. What about the ring o on that curtain? No. So when you when you do like this, how the ring ring will move along the rod only? No. Sir, how do I come to know? I think this is the common sense and nothing to do with physics. So can it move vertically up ring? Rod will not permit no. So because of component of tension, yes, the ring will slide horizontally. So write the equation now. So what are the equations will be M2G, <coughs> M2G minus T equal to M2A2. Okay, now uh, this is about the displacement of block. No, the block will move vertically down. M two G minus T equal to M two A two. Then for the for the ring, T cos theta equal to M one A one. How many unknowns are there? A two, A one, and T. Altogether, we have. So I need one more equation. So let me take help of constraint equation. So what is this change in length of this part of the rope? This will give the displacement of this will give displacement of block. No, so we'll take like this. Huh? We'll write constant equations. No. Mm. What is this? This will be y two. And what about this length? This length will remain constant. No. This will not change. This length is going to change. No. Write all the things. No, uh, this is some constant. So this will be h. So this should be y two. Change in length of this part of segment. So let, let me first write all. Then I'll indicate that one. Uh, now I'll, I'll come to one by one. You see, change in length of this part of the rope is what displacement of block m two. Please, please understand the logic here. There's no very big concept here. The change in length of this part of the string. Now I'm highlighting everything. You have to just make observation. Nothing big is there. Here, the length of string decreases by here one meter. Then how much M2 will move? Will move one meter. So therefore, change in length of this is equal to displacement of block M2. Then similarly, the change in length of this. The change in length of this. Its component will be x1. No, not like just only change in length of the string. Because how the ring ring will move horizontally, so there will be change in as the ring comes to this position here. So what happened to string? String will take position like this, no? So therefore, is it change in length of this equal to displacement of ring? No. Change in length of this along the rod is what displacement of the block. So I, I am writing x1. So what is x1 now? Displacement of the ring. So let's write now some constant equation. What would be the constant equation? Overall length of the string should remain constant. I am going to take help of constant equation. Length of the rope. You start like this. So how you define length of the rope? H square plus 
root of x1 square plus h square plus y2. I try to follow that. What is the, the this part of the rope? Root of h square plus x1 square plus h square no plus y2. Overall length in inextensible. So I'll differentiate two root of and this should be two x one dx one by dt plus dy two by dt dl by dt this should be zero x one root of x one square plus x square dx one by dt dx one by dt should be the velocity of the ring no dy two by dt this should be the velocity of block uh, what is a root of x one by root that particular thing so that should be equal to cos theta differentiate this cos theta a1 plus a2 so in terms of magnitude so what we can write here is it justified my equation i'm writing that one is it justified Very simple. No? What is the acceleration of the ring? A one along the acceleration of the ring along the rod is A one. You see this. Then along the string, how much A one cos theta? So that A one cos theta should be equal to A two, no? Because how the block is moving vertically down. Okay, is it fine? Straight away. No need of all this mathematics. Just now I put that statement. So take help of that statement and apply. A two is equal to A one cos theta. But this, so I think it's like a now students should realize that you have to be, you should be good observer, no, not like something you need some good memory. You should be intellectual. You should take ITJ foundation course, and uh, you should eat dabar chaman prash, and you should eat very good nutritious food. All are irrelevant. Interested, you are interested in, and you are a good observer. Knowledge will come. I don't think so. Nutrition also plays very important. So minimum nutrition everyone will get the food what we take. And uh, you should do yoga. You should do meditation. You should do pranayama. You should do physical exercises. Of course, they are good for health, but all those things will not substitute for the thinking ability. I am making things clear. If you have a good healthy body, okay, fine. But good healthy body doesn't mean that you are having a good thinking brain. No, the good thinking brain comes from observation, observation and the interest. I see nowadays parents they do a lot of things to make students to get better marks, but all are irrelevant. Uh, that, that's what I feel. And you check in Google, no? I think that's what they're telling. Nothing to do with like a thinking ability. Nothing to do with even nutritious food also. If that is the case, all rich people. Would have been good thinkers, no, but that is not the situation. And all poor people would have been stupid, but nothing like that. So it is quite very randomly are divided that one. So I, I suggest you like only by observation. Huh? So don't uh, like a, just for sake of uh, uh, to increase thinking ability. What happen? I'll do meditation. I'll do yoga. Okay, they will benefit you the physical health. Or the mental health, but nothing to do with physics problem. To solve physics problem, you should be good observer, and you should be interested. I am putting a there's a what everyone is suggesting. So don't go for any alternative method. It's of absolutely no use. Sir, ah. sir, here we got v1 is equal sorry v2 is equal to v1 cos theta, no, sir, magnitude wise. Yeah. If we differentiate. Uh, cos theta is also varying, no sir. Look at the question. When string makes an angle theta, <coughs> I think you didn't read question. At that instant only we are discussing. Uh, with the time, what when the theta will vary? I am asking the condition when string makes an angle theta with the rod. Then it is being asked. Okay, sir.
completed, I'll, I'll go for the next application. Yes, sir.